Hello everybody and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the steel segment here at Trimble. And today I want to talk about the custom file metadata templates that are available in Trimble Connect. What the file metadata is, is the ability to create custom properties or attributes that allow you to track information on documents that are stored within your Trimble Connect project. In a previous video, I talked about the custom property sets, which allows you to create custom properties or attributes for model objects. Well, this allows you to do essentially the same thing, but for documents that are managed and stored in Trimble Connect. So let me show you where this would come in handy before I show you how to make and use those. So let me drill down to some files that I'm using here within a project. These are my assembly drawings. And you can see up at the top with these columns, these are out of the box columns that give me just basic information about these particular files. If I select one of these, you can see again that same type of information here. And then I have the ability to use a simple tag. So let's say that I wanted to use this as a tag to put in uh, my name, for example. If I go ahead and add that, you can see now that that will show up as a tag. And that's something that I could then filter or search by if I wanted to. Well, let's say that I wanted to create a drop down menu that had specific information that my company likes to track or see on our documents. Or I wanted to add in a date field that I could add a specific date for something. Well, that's where these custom file metadata templates come into play. So if I come up here to the top, I'll go ahead and choose this icon here. And if you're an administrator on your project, you can choose this company administration and that will open up the company administration tab where over on the left hand side, you can see information about the company, the users and these metadata templates. And that's what I want to talk about today. So if I go ahead and click on this, uh, you can see that I already have a template created. If you're coming here for the first time, this is essentially what you'll see. A note here that you don't have any templates created. And then you'll have the new button in the top right hand corner where you can click on new to begin creating your template. So once you click on that to create your new template, this is the screen that you'll see. So I've gone ahead already and given this template a name, just calling it the name of my organization. And then over here on the right hand side are the custom properties. This is basically the blank canvas of where I can create information that I want to track or manage on the documents that are stored in Trimble Connect. Over here on the left hand side are the property types that I can choose from. So let me show you how these work. Let's say first we want to add in a drop down. So I'll just go ahead and click and drag that over and I can give this a name. So let's call this approval status. And now I can type in the options that should be available in the drop down. So let's call this approved. And then I'll add another one here as approved as noted. And I'll add another option to say this is revise and resubmit. And then one last one, we'll just call this on hold. So once I'm good with that, I can begin adding others. So let's add a long text here. So this way we can add in some comments. So I'll just call this reviewer comments. And then there should be plenty of room in this string field uh, to type in that information. If we want, we can use this user. This is nice too, where I can click and drag that over. And let's just call this reviewed by. And this will allow me to see a list of users on the project that I can then choose from. One last one here, we'll bring in a date field and let's call this review date. And then I'll be able to set that for these fields so that I can track and filter by documents as they're reviewed. So as you're going along and creating this, you can come up here to the top and click save. That will save these. Once you're available to publish those and make them available in your projects, you can click on publish. And that will then change from a draft to a published template that's available to be used on your projects. So let's go back to projects and I'll show you how we can begin using these. So I'll go back to the same project that we were just working in. And I'll go to drawings and we'll open up the assembly drawing folder. So here we don't notice any changes. So I don't see these custom templates that I'm able to use at the moment. When you create those, if nothing is showing up here, I want you to come over to the settings under the project details. And the thing that you need to check is the project ownership. 
You can see the note down here underneath it. It says if the project ownership is changed, the existing metadata for custom attributes will be lost. So the company that I created these templates for wasn't Trimble Inc. It was actually Trimble Solutions USA. So if I go ahead and change that and hit update, it will update the project details. And now when I come back into my file explorer here, we'll be able to view that information that I can use. So I'll open up the assembly drawings and I'll close that. And now you can see up here at the top, these are the metadata fields that I can then begin using in my project. So if I hit this, I can see here's the drop down information, the reviewer comments, the reviewed by with the list of users in this project and the review date that we can all track. So if I click on one of these files, now over on the right hand side, I can see this information in addition to the tags field that I can begin using. So let's go to approval status and I'll hit the drop down and just call this approved is noted. And then as soon as I click that button, it will store that information to this document. For reviewer comments, I'll just type in C drawing notes and go ahead and save that. I can give this a review date of today. And then I can also say that I reviewed this. So I can just begin typing and it'll filter out the list of users that meet that criteria. So I'll go ahead and store that information there. And now I have that stored to the file. So let's go ahead and do some additional information. So let's go ahead and set the approval status. We'll set that to be the same. We'll give this a slightly different reviewer comment. So I can show you that later in the video, how we can filter by the comments. So I'll just call this C design drawings and save that information. Again, I'll set my name to be reviewed by. And then for the review date for filtering, I'll go ahead and give this a different date. So let me just backdate that as when I reviewed that. So document by document, I can come in and see this information and set that information. Once I do that, I can then use these fields up here to begin filtering by this information. And you'll also see these arrows next to each of the columns. If I want to change that to something that we just created, I can do that. So let's say I want to bring in the reviewer comments and then I can use these up at the top to begin filtering. So let's say I want to filter all these drawings by the ones that are approved is noted. So once I do that, it'll filter those out. And then if there are any comments in the field, I'll be able to see those over here on the right hand side. So there I have my two drawings where I added that status and then I can see C drawing notes and C design drawings. So if I reset that filter, I can do that. And let's say that we want to filter by a review date. So show me everything that was reviewed today. Here's that single drawing that we have available. And then I can also filter by my name. If I want to see the drawings that were reviewed by me, there are those two drawings. So that's really handy to be able to view the information here within this specific folder where we're adding information. Another really neat thing about these is that if I go back to the Project Explorer, this is where all of the files and everything are stored. I can come up here and I can use this advanced search option to really refine down the information that I'm trying to see. So let's say that I want to filter by everything that has a .pdf extension. And then I can also add custom properties. So I want to filter by approval status so I can add that. And let's say find everything that's approved as noted. And then if I want to add one more custom property, I can do that. And let's say review date. And then I can go to the calendar and choose the field that I want to filter by. So the April 21st date, I can click on search. And then what this will do is that it will filter out for my entire project everything that has a file extension of PDF. It has the approval status set to approved as noted and has a review date for today. So here I have that one file that's visible. If I want to view additional information, I can toggle these drop downs here to view by date or if I want to see the reviewer comments. So it's just a nice easy way to filter this information based on the metadata information that we've created. So let's go ahead and talk about one last thing before we wrap up here. I'll go back to the data explorer and then open up the company administration again. And then let's go ahead and look at the metadata template. There may be times on the project where you're tracking information and you no longer want it to be visible to anybody. 
in the bottom right hand corner if we come take a look for example for review date if I click the delete icon of course I have the option to delete it but that will remove all the information if you just want to hide it so people can't see it anymore or interact with it you can click hide and it will add it to the hidden property section over here on the left of course at any time if you want to bring that back you can do that just by simply clicking and dragging and adding that back you can save your template if you want to see what that looks like and then when you're ready to publish that information back for the users to interact with it you can just simply click on publish and that will then make it available so there's an overview of the metadata templates we hope you find it useful as always we invite you to try it out send us any feedback that you may have and we hope you enjoyed this development.